Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to build a wither skeleton farm designed by Raiseworks. And yeah guys, this is a really uh, easy to build uh, and simple farm and it provides you with really awesome rates. So if you're just going to be building the regular one uh, without the collection system like this one here has, you can expect around 45 skulls per hour, 1800 bones per hour, and 600 coal per hour among gold ingots and stone swords. And a few magma creams that fall down there. Uh, that is without the player being AFK uh, at the bottom there. That is with the player being above the bedrock ceiling um, and, you know, with the dogs killing down there. Uh, however, if you were to do it again without the collection system, but with the player uh, killing them down there, uh, you'll you could expect 85 skulls an hour, 4,100 bones an hour, and 2,600 uh, coal an hour. So uh, the rates do increase quite a lot there with looting, and uh, yeah, you don't need to set up the dogs down there. And if uh, you were going to do the collection system, you can expect around, uh, you can expect the same amount of skulls and uh, coal, but as the regular one, so 45 and 600. But the bones uh, goes up from 1800 to about uh, 2000 uh, if you have this collection system added. Uh, and then you also get a lot more magma cream and uh, gold. So, yeah. And you also get some arrows, so that could be something for you. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So you're going to want to find a crossroads in your nether fortress. And this is quite uh, important because this crossroads is where you're going to be building the farm. So if you look around your fortress, uh, you should be able to find one of these. Uh, I found one here, just a random seed. After going around this fortress, I found this one here. And... Uh, like if you went ahead all you want to do is just mark this center block anyways guys let's go ahead and i'm going to move to a world where there's a bit less going on around here also keep in mind that there is you're, you're going to want to clear out some of the area around here make sure this fortress is taken down pretty good and also keep in mind that you're going to need to go down below this quite a lot so yeah maybe put a platform if you're above lava Okay, so uh, yeah, here's the world that we're going to be doing tutorial in. So uh, if you're going to be doing the full farm with the collection system and everything, here is the stuff you're going to need. Yep, uh, I'll let you guys pause the video and collect that up. Again, you're going to need to find a piglin with a sword uh, and then give them a chest plate or name them. And then you're going to need to tame two wolves. Um, yeah, and this isn't required, but is recommended. And then these are temporary rails. I'll let you guys pause and collect that up. Okay, and if you're just going to be doing the basic uh, farm, you're only going to need one chest of materials here. Uh, same goes for the spawn eggs and whatever. Um, but yeah, there's a lot less needed. And, you know, you're going to need, of course, your minecarts, your wolves, uh, your piglin with a sword. Again, make sure that that piglin can't despawn. So chest plate or name tag uh, either works. And yeah, this is everything you're going to need. Um, yeah, and then also, of course, you're going to need some sort of temporary block. I'm using uh, diamond blocks because pretty obvious. Uh, anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so you're going to want to, of course, put that block in the center of your uh, crossroads here. This is my crossroads that I picked out. And then from that, you're going to go ahead and just count out from every direction at nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and so once you have that, you should have this area cut out here. So then uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get rid of all the nether brick here, and you're gonna fill this up with netherrack. Okay, now that's done. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and come to the center here and around this block, uh, you're going to go ahead and actually put a 
uh, you know, your main building block uh, here. And then you're going to go ahead and destroy a 3x3 three three around that. And then to any direction of your choice, this is going to determine where your drop shoot goes. So this may be something you want to consider. So if you want your drop shoot here, you're going to go ahead and punch out these three. If you wanted it, say, to this side, you would just punch out these three. Okay, so with this area punched out now, what you're going to do is get your temporary block and place two like so, and then go ahead and uh, put trapdoors like so all the way around this area. And then you can go ahead and destroy those two temporary blocks. And then on here, you're going to place a button to prevent spawns. So next, you're going to place a temporary block here. You're going to put uh, down trapdoors like so, uh, like that. And then you're going to do it again like this, making sure that they're lined up towards the center. So when you flip, flip them there like so. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and lure a piglin into here. So uh, these guys right here, they aggro towards you. Uh, you want to make sure you get an adult, not a baby piglin. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put one in here like so. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and grab yourself a, a golden armor piece that they, they're not already wearing and just throw it towards them. They'll pick it up and put it on. And that will prevent uh, like despawning. But if you don't have the gold to spare, go ahead and get a name tag and name him something. And that will effectively do the same thing. Just make sure that this guy has a sword and not a crossbow. That's very important. So come to the front where you have the extra three punched out. Go ahead and place a piece of glass right there. Then come around to this angle here and place a trapdoor and flick it up. So there you go. And then you're going to come around to here and place a trapdoor and flick it down. So this makes it so the withers, uh, wither skeleton, sorry, think they can walk through here, which they actually are going to fall. Okay, so now you're going to place a temporary block here and here. Go ahead and get your walls that you're going to use. I'm just going to use these stone brick walls. Uh, and you're going to actually keep those temporary blocks there. And then go ahead and do that. So now, uh, from this glass, you're going to come down a another 23 blocks. So this counts as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. And you're going to do this on this side right here. And make sure that they line up correctly. Just like so. And then uh, you're going to bring your walls down. Make sure there's that gap there. And go ahead and bring these down to match again with the bottoms. Okay, now on the 24th block down, so this one, you're going to place your soul sand down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get rid of these. Go ahead and place uh, slabs on all sides of this soul sand like so. Then you're going to come down here, place a hopper beneath there, and then hoppers underneath each slab into that uh, downwards facing hopper. So that way all the things that get dropped here are going to go into this hopper. And then you can go ahead and put this into your storage system like that. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get these dogs in here. So on the sides with walls, you're going to come out with some temporary blocks, place some rails down, uh, get your dog here. Uh, you're going to need a tame dog, of course, and place that there. And then you're going to go ahead and uh, place a temporary block on top of the soul sand and push your dog all the way in. Uh, it may be uh, beneficial to put glass like so, which is something I forgot to do. So go ahead and get your glass and put it around like this. And then uh, you're going to bring this up like that. Uh, and then up more block like so okay and so now what you're gonna do again is get your tamed wolf like that and so quick note with these wolves uh, you're gonna need to make sure if you're gonna have other people using this farm so say this your buildings on a server uh, and you're gonna have multiple people they're only gonna kill for 
uh, the their owner. So make sure that if you're going to have a shared farm, maybe put a wolf on each side of each player. So uh, when each player, you know, AFKs, they can do it. Or maybe just two players, whatever. Anyways, make sure he's pushed all the way in there and is in there secured. You can get rid of these blocks and then go ahead and encase that with glass like so. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. But this time, make sure that you destroy that right there. And then go ahead and place your glass like so. And bring this up again like that. And then from this angle, you're going to break a piece of glass and you're going to get yourself with a rose. And you go ahead and place that with a rose right there like so. Okay, you can put that piece of glass back. And so now you have an AFKable solution here. So if you're going to want to come down here and, uh, you know, kill them yourselves with looting, just go ahead and get some extra slabs or blocks or something and place them like so give yourself a little platform and then you're going to go ahead and with this here you're going to get a uh, bar i know these weren't in the material selection but uh yeah go ahead and do that and then you're going to destroy this you're going to put a slab down and you're going to go ahead and you're going to actually uh you don't need that there you're just going to go here and you're going to aim up at this corner here like so anyways uh, that's only if you want to use that to your advantage at some point um, yeah so now the next task is to go ahead and fill this top section here with wither roses Okay, so once all those are in, uh, the last little touch here is you're going to go ahead and come down here and place an egg right onto the side of that trapdoor, which is just going to end up on top of this piglin's head. Uh, if you don't have an egg, you can just put like a slab there, or you can put a glass pane or a bar, um, or something to keep him from bouncing, but an egg uh, will attract the pigmen, so you can maybe get a little bit extra gold. And that, my friends, is actually the farm completed here. So if we change the game mode here to hard mode and we backed up a little bit. As you can see, we have some spawns. We have some wither skeletons. Uh, and we have, yeah, all this is working out as expected. And, yeah, as you can see, everything's getting hurt down here and when we see a wither skeleton fall here the dogs kill the wither skeleton uh, just like we want them to there we go and then of course we get all our drops down here uh, so yeah guys uh, that is this farm at its basic form complete okay so if you want to go ahead and put in a rail system below this uh, I'm going to show you one way to do it here but there's so many different ways I'm uh, using slabs because they're the easiest and the most cost-effective but basically you'd line the underside of this thing with slabs uh, and if I were gonna actually build this farm uh, in survival what what I would do is I would put a platform uh, about this level here and then do this um, or I would do this first and then, you know, do that. But I think the platform is a bit easier. Anyways, uh, yeah. You can go ahead and do this. You just line this area up with slabs. And then you put rails on top of that in a winding pattern. And you do um, something like this. So let me do the first section here. And I'll explain uh, why this is done the way it is. So... And then, of course, in the center here, you're going to go ahead and put your power sources. 
So for me, that's just going to be a block of redstone. You could use a block with a lever on the underside. Uh, there's so many different ways you could do that, but yeah. So uh, this section is kind of the idea of what you would do. You would just have an L shape of rails going back and forth. And then at this side, you'd have a little bit more rails uh, compact going back and forth. Then you'd have a turn turn back point. This would, of course, it would affect the rates, but it not uh, so much that it's that big of a deal. And then uh, what you'd do is you'd replicate this, but you know this long end would be over here. And then you'd have the short end over here. Uh, making up this side and so essentially what you would do uh, is if we look over here we have the entrance over here you would make the entrance of this other side right here as well so that it, you would have two sides hooking up here and so the way you would do that let's get some blocks And you'd have a comparator out the side of that hopper going into a block uh, like so. And you zigzag a block pattern like that. Put a torch here, a piece of redstone dust here. And then you'd go ahead and put something like a button on top of here to prevent spawns. And then you'd put powered rail there. And you do that for this side as well. So uh, if I go ahead and get that quartz block again. Boom. and do something like that. And then you'd of course make the rail system over here as well. Um, and that is essentially how you do that collection system. And then you'd probably have the hoppers come to the center here and into another storage system or maybe have them dropped into another area into the storage system down here. There's a lot of different options you can do. But that's essentially how you would do the collection system. and. The materials that I uh, showed you guys at the beginning of the video, or if I go ahead and, uh, uh, whoops, dang, I got rid of the chests. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll put a screenshot of that on screen right now of the materials you need for the extra layer here. That will include everything. Um, yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video i hope you guys found this useful hope you guys get a bunch of wither skulls and then a bunch of beacons and a bunch of fun stuff so you guys can start that insta mine grind anyways guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video hopefully and goodbye